Happy Monday. Happy Monday, my friends. All right, so good to see you guys. I hope everybody had an awesome weekend. It's the Mondays again. Hopefully not the Monday blah blahs, but just the Mondays this time. Today, um, again, you know, as every day, I'm taking you guys on the commute to work with me to start our day off with the power of positivity. I'm always wanting to start my day off grateful, so um, I'm so grateful today that, uh, you know, it's a beautiful day and I'm on my way to work. Not as on time as I would like to be, but more on time than usual. <laughs> and today I want to talk about... Um, how to fix your problems the easy way and uh, you know a lot of you don't know my story yet Mo a lot of you do um, and I may tell my story at some point I've tried to I've sat in front of the camera and tried to record it for you too but it gets really long even when I'm like trying to cut out the bulk of it it still is really long so you know maybe I have to put it in an ebook or something one of these days but um, you know, I don't think there's a problem out there. Maybe one or two that I haven't faced, but no, I have had to deal with quite a bit my whole life. And I spent a lot of time going around the mountain over and over and over. And I remember, you know, things would start to go good for a while and then it would happen again and my life would be off in the ditch again. And, I, and it would be so quick too. And I would be like, how do I, let this happen again and what kept bringing me back was the fear it was the absolute fear that it was gonna happen again it was the absolute fear that I was gonna do it again um, you'll know if you talk to any athlete or any extreme sports person right when they're doing an extreme sport they focus on they focus on what they're trying to achieve, not what they're trying to miss, right? Um, they're focused on winning, not not losing, right? Um, if they're driving really fast in a sports car, you know, they, they're not looking at the curbs or at the, you know, the what are those things called that they always put in the middle of the, the dirt tracks and stuff, um, the big water barrels. That, that they're not looking at those things, trying to miss them, right? They're just they're just laser focused on the point they're trying to get to. And so, at any rate, I've had a lot of people, you know, messaging me. Those fears are bubbling up to the surface, and this is a great time to purge those fears. Do that. Write the list of the things that you want um, again, and. Um, Get, real, get clarity on it, okay? So if you have a problem in your life, for instance, okay, so for me, right now, I'm, I'm on a weight loss thing. I let my weight kind of get ahead of me. I was so focused on other things, you know, that um, that I let my weight get out of hand, get a little, go a little with the ice cream, okay? So I can't focus. I don't want to focus on losing the weight. Right? I don't want to look in the mirror and be like, oh, you know, and nitpick about a fat roll or, you know, cellulite or, you know, anything like that. Or look at the ice cream that, that I don't get to have. Um, what I have to do is I have to shift my focus. I have to shift my focus onto what it is I want to achieve. So or what it is I want to do. So instead of focusing on weight loss, um, or I'm focusing on the fact that I've gained weight, sorry, I wanna focus on the weight loss aspect. So I wanna focus on what makes me feel good. I wanna focus on the yoga. I wanna focus on, um, you know, creating an atmosphere where maybe a salad sounds good to me, right? Instead of, um, focusing on that bowl of ice cream, right? I have to shift my focus to, 
you know, what, what would, what could I eat right now that would make me feel really good about the meal that I just had? So, you know, having a smoothie packed full of vitamins, you know, and then really once I have that smoothie or that salad, then really focusing on how good I feel in that moment. You know, give myself a lot of those kudos, how proud I am of myself for having that smoothie, okay? If I cannot focus on, if I have the cookie or the ice cream or whatever, if I focus on the guilt, so if I focus on the guilt of eating the ice cream or eating the cookies, what's going to happen? I'm going to end up eating more ice cream and eat more cookies, right? That's what happens. You know, people have the cookie or the ice cream and then they go, ah. Oh, you know, I just ruined my diet. Oh, well, fuck it. I might as well have the whole, you know, the whole pint of ice cream now. I might as well eat the whole bag, right? Instead of being okay with, you know what? I'm human. I had a freaking cookie. That's okay. I can still go have my smoothie. I can still go have my salad. You know, and that's just an example, you know. And I have a girlfriend who, um, you know, she's kind of focused on the fact that you know, and she's in recovery too. She's an addict in recovery like me. She doesn't use, uh, you know, she's not affiliated with AA or NA or anything like that. Um, but she's been having some beers on the weekend. And it's just, she started doing it just because she, you know, maybe her boyfriend does it or whatever. as a way of socializing. She said it was, you know, helping her sleep. She's having trouble sleeping. So a couple of beers a night, we're having her sleep. We're helping her sleep. But now... You know, she's kind of, she's realizing she's getting caught up in that habitual thing, you know. So what's happening is you start to get paranoid, start to freak out a little bit about the drinking. She sees herself going off in that, that wrong direction, that path again, right? So what she has to do, instead of focusing on the beers that she's having and how she doesn't want to have that, she doesn't want to, you know, worrying about that behavior, you know, my suggestion was focus on what you want to replace that behavior with. So, you know, if you, if you want to work a spiritual program and you want to grow spiritually, especially if you're an addict in recovery, you need to be saying what you're grateful for every day and you need to be meditating. So instead of coming home at night and having those few beers because they help you sleep, put your headphones in and do your binaural beats. You know, and do that 10, 15 minutes of meditation. Let me tell you something. That will put you right to sleep. <laughs> that will put you right. That puts me right to sleep a lot of times, especially if I'm tired. Um, you know, and after I suggest that, I'm like, I'm t and I told her, because I've told her this many times. I'm like, when I tell you to meditate, I'm not just blowing smoke. Like, you have to actually fucking do it. You have to actually fucking do it, you know? And so she's like, you know what? You're right. I haven't meditated in months. Well, no, of course you haven't. That's why you're having the beers. You know, it's, it's so easy to get off track, you know? But you can't focus on the beers, right? You can't focus on the problem to get rid of the problem. So whatever your problem is, my encouragement to you today is to focus on what is the opposite of that problem. You know, don't focus on the problem. Focus on what it is you want in place of that problem, in lieu of that problem. You know, if it's, you know, that you want to lose weight, you know, focus on a thin, healthy body. If it's that you don't want to be drinking, it's focus on what, what you want to do instead. You want to be meditating? Do you want to be um, of service to others? Like, what, what is it that you can be doing in place of that? Do you want to be exercising? You know, um, problems at work, anything, anything, that whatever it is, think of what is the complete opposite of this problem that I'm having. If I wasn't ha what if I wasn't having this problem, what would I want to be in its place? What good thing would I want to have in my life to, to fill that hole where this problem is? And shift your focus to that. And that is the easiest way you guys overcome problems because you, you, right away once you shift your focus, you forget about the problem. You totally forget about the problem and now you're focused on what it is you want that excites you, that raises your vibration, automatically you're in that creative state now and you're on your way to the solution. And you know, this is not something that you have, guys have not heard before, but when we get into, when, when a problem arises, right, if you're not, especially if you're not working a program, um, it's very easy to get caught up in the drama of the problem um, and feel guilty about 
you know, what, what part you're, you know, what part you play in that problem. You, you get, listen, let go of that. Let go of all that. Get over all that. Just boom. Just right now. Let's let it go. And instead, we're, we're going to get into the solution. What do I want to be there in place of that problem? I'm not getting along with a coworker at work, okay? What would I want? I would want to go to work and everybody loves me, right? So start doing your meditations and focusing on sending everybody that you work with, especially people you don't get along with, focus on sending them love and light. And then actually visualize yourself coming to work and everybody's, hey girl, how you doing? What? Oh, I love you, no, but what? How you doing? This place does not even function right without you, girl. Right? That, and then right away, just even be in that visualization that right away that you just feel good in that moment. Right? Because we all want to be loved. We all want to be approved of. We all want to be accepted. Okay? All right. That's it for today, guys. Happy Monday. Don't have the Monday blah blahs. You got the Monday blah blahs. Think about the Friday ha ha's. If we didn't have this, if we didn't have a Monday morning, we couldn't have a Friday afternoon, right? So, and that's the thing. It's all about balance, too. Sometimes a problem isn't a problem. Sometimes it's just, you know, the other side of the balance, you know. So, with that, I love you guys very much. I hope you go out and have an awesome, self-created day. And if you haven't already, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you're actually notified of my videos. If this message meant anything to you today, please consider sharing it. Um, and if you want to support my channel, you can go over to Teespring and order self-created life merchandise now. Okay. And with that, I love you guys very much. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you back here tomorrow morning. Namaste.